I'm so sorry, Mum. What on earth for? I've just realised it's Mother's Day. Is this from Adam? Oh, you mustn't worry about that. Mother's Day's the last thing on my mind. Morning, darling. Oh, hi, Dad. Are you all ready? Are you sure you want to take me? I could drive myself. No, no, absolutely not. That's the least I can do. Anyway, I want to see how he's doing myself. Right, OK, then. Oh, Brendan just rang. Oh, he got back to you, then? Oh, how was he? Very understanding, actually. He said I, I don't have to go in this week at all. Oh, quite right, too. Yeah, we'll just assess things a week at a time. Well, that makes sense. Mm, he, was, he was actually really nice about it. Sympathetic. Well, this sort of thing can bring out the best in people. Yeah. Right, then. Let's get going. Darling, I do hope you don't mind if I don't come to the hospital today. Oh? Oh, I've really got so much to catch up on after... Well, you know, after the week we've had. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> Thank you. It's not much of a Mother's Day for you. Oh, never mind that. You go and see poor Christopher. The eggs are mixed in. What's next? Hang on a minute. Oh, it's all right. 200 millilitres of milk. Let me get the roasties in. 200. Right. Have you seen the parsnips anywhere? In it goes, and... Ben, no! Ugh! Switch it off, switch it off! Oh, you idiot! How's it all going? <laughs> Whoa, what on earth? Splashed all over me! Ben, you look like you've been concreted. I said to wait, and you've got to put the lid on. What is that stuff? Yorkshire pudding batter. We're going to have to make it again now. <laughs> I didn't know. All right, Ben, come on, come on. Let's get you cleaned up. Come here. You should have left it to me. It didn't say anything about a lid in the book. Here, Josh, take this cloth, wipe the table down with that. What, you were making it in the liquidizer then? Yeah, wasn't that right? I don't know, really. I think your mum uses the food mixer, usually. Pip might know. Where is Pip? Good question. What do you mean? Here, come here, Ben. Oh, Lord, look, it's all in your hair. I think you better have a quick shower. We haven't seen her. What? Aren't you meant to be cooking this meal together? Yep, that's what we agreed. She's supposed to be head chef. Well, I know she was staying with a friend last night. She's not come back yet. Nope, and her phone just goes straight to voicemail. Oh, that does it. Mum, we told you not to come in here. I just wanted to make a coffee. We'll do that for you. Oh, my... <laughs> What's happened here? <sighs> just a little spillage, that's all. <laughs> Sprayage, more like. There's nothing to worry about, Ruth. Go on, you go and, I don't know, read a magazine or something. We'll bring you a coffee. I could make a coffee. No! You've already done the milking, David. No, it's your day. Go and put your feet up. Why won't they let us see him? <sighs> they said not to worry. Susan's right, darling. Um, look, someone will come and tell us what's going on as soon as they can, mm. I'm sure. Yeah, but I just want to be with him, Dad. Of course you do. All night I've just longed to be next to him. And now... I know, I know. I know. We, we could go to the cafe, Alice. I, uh, get you some breakfast. No, oh, I don't want to leave here in case they come looking for us. Right. Uh, well, what if I bring you something up here? No. No, thanks, I couldn't. Susan, can I get you anything? <sighs> no, thanks, Brian. But he's right, Alice. You, you need to eat. Yeah, no, I will. In a bit. Well, uh, I'm sure Sam will be along soon. Right. Where are the spuds for the mash? In the simmering oven. OK. Right, well, if I drain them, can you do the mashing, Ben? Sure. Good. And then we better start thinking about the gravy. Oh, um, can you close the oven door, Josh? No problem. Thanks. Ah. What? Except that the Yorkshires are in the roasting oven, and I'm pretty sure you're not meant to open the door until they're done. What's the problem? Well, we need the juices from the meat, and that's still in there with the Yorkshires. Um, oh well. If we're quick, probably won't matter. Hello, everyone! Oh, oh at last! Oh, that smells good. You should have been here hours ago. Oh, yeah, sorry. I had trouble with my phone. My alarm didn't go off. <laughs> yeah, right. What about your friend? What about her? 
Well, couldn't she have woken you up? Well, she was still asleep when I left. <sighs> it's not good enough, Pip. You've let the boys down. Yeah. And I've had to help out when I've got 101 things to do on the farm. <sighs> Sorry. It was just one of those things. <laughs> If it really was just one, I wouldn't mind so much. And I'm here now. What can I do? Nothing. We've done it all. Well, there must be something. You haven't signed Mum's card yet. Yeah, we wanted to give her that this morning. Well, we can give it to her now. Where is it? It's on the table. The main thing is that we're all here to wish Mum Happy Mother's Day and have lunch with her. <sighs> no, that's not the main thing at all. You were meant to make a contribution. All three of you working together. Yeah, we had a deal. Yeah. Well, one thing's for certain, you can do all the clearing up. What? The kitchen looks like a bomb's hit it. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? Seeing as you lumbered Ben and Josh with all the preparation, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, I love you so much, Chris. You've got to fight. You can't leave me. Oh. It's all right, love. It's all right. <laughs> Susan. Now, listen. Remember what the nurse said. He's young. He's strong. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, Chris. <gasps> Dad sends his love, Christopher. <laughs> we all love you. More than we can say. Mm, this is lovely, boys. You don't have to be nice, Mum. No, really. The beef's great. Shame about the roasties. OK, they're a little well done. I put them in at the same time as the meat. Oh, you didn't, did you? Pip. Well, there was no one around to tell me not to, was there? The mash is good, isn't it? I did the mash. Well, you did a very good job, Ben. You all did. I am being spoilt today. A lying first thing? Yeah, you weren't the only one lying first thing. I told you there was something wrong with my phone. With your face? <laughs> Shut up. So, Ruth, um, how did you use your morning off? Oh, you know, took me ceremonial barge down the am. <laughs> Danced a rumba with Anton de Beck. Oh, <laughs> the usual, then. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, actually, I cleared out those boxes in the wardrobe. Oh, Ruth. Well, I've been meaning to do it for ages, and as I wasn't doing any work work, it seemed like a good opportunity. Honestly, you're meant to be relaxing. Oh, I'm not happy losing around all day. I know someone who is. Someone beginning with... P. OK, boys, I know you've got a point. Uh, Dad! But now's not the time, all right? What point? Nothing, nothing, it's just banter, that's all. Um, do you want some more gravy? Yeah, have another slice. What was that? Nothing. Nothing? Like what you did this morning? Or peas. Have some more peas. It was awful, wasn't it, Alice? Oh, awful. Oh, dear. And we didn't know what was happening. As I had visions of... Oh, never mind. But they were actually changing it back to the first method of ventilation. Oh, I just wish they'd told us sooner. Yes. Anyway, the point is, it's an improvement. Really? Well, a small one. So, have they taken the tube out? No, no, that's still in. Uh, no, that might happen in a few days, they said. They'll have to see how he progresses. But at least no, no, it steady sounds... No, steady on, Jenny, steady. He's still very ill. There's a long way to go yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, go on, thanks. You grab the other end. Uh, where do you want it moved to? Um, well, let your boots decide. Take it up the slope until it feels less claggy underfoot. Okay. Just hope we get a reasonably dry spring. Not too dry, though, man. <laughs> Farmers, we're never satisfied, are we? Well, we've got a lot to be not satisfied about. Here, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, Pip's only just finished clearing up. Sorry? Pip, she's only just now restored the kitchen to some sort of order. Uh, 
I reckon she thought she got the good side of the deal with the boys cooking and her clearing up. That was the arrangement, I take it. Uh, yeah, they sorted out something between themselves. I think she realises she got the short straw now. Uh, maybe. The boys did well, though, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they worked really hard. Shame about the Yorkshires. Um, actually, that was my fault. Oh, well, never mind. <sighs> Perhaps I should have stayed out here where I know what I'm doing. Lord knows there's enough to be done. Yeah. But, you know, it takes so long to check all this sheep, you can't skimp on it. And we don't want to lose any lambs unnecessarily. Well, too right. If people mucked in a bit more, it'd help. Oh, well, I've got to start the milking soon, but I can't... No, oh, Ruth, no, no, I didn't mean you, love. <laughs> Just, you know... It's a busy time of year, that's all. You can stay for longer, you know, darling. You could sleep here if you wanted. Oh, thanks, Mum, but I'd rather be in my own bed. Do you want a lift back to the cottage? No, thanks. The, the walk will do me good. All right. Well, take care, Alice. Yeah, I will. And give us a ring if you need anything. Thanks. Well, still nothing said about the elephant in the room. Her interview, you mean? Mm. If she isn't going to mention it, I don't like to bring it up. Oh, absolutely. I don't know she's got plenty else to think about. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I wonder what she'd do if she was offered the job. Well, she'd have to turn it down after what's happened. I'm not so sure, Jenny. I mean, if Chris recovers and... The firm's able to wait for a bit. Oh, no! Well, who knows? Oh. And on the other hand, if things go badly for him... What else do you mean? Well, we have to face it, Jenny. Maybe Alice would, would want to make a completely new start. Brian, please! Away from everything that reminds her of him. Oh, well, don't talk like that. I can't bear it. Ah, oh, that was lovely, Pat. Thank you. Don't you ever get tired of leek and potato? No, just the job in this weather. Um, you got time for a coffee before you go back to the dairy? Um, yeah, go on. We're not that stretched today. Uh -huh. So, this change in ventilation, is it such a big deal? Susan seems to think so. Well, I hope she's not clutching at straws. Chris is still in intensive care after all. You can hardly blame her, can you? How was she this morning? Quiet, you know. Was it such a good idea for her to be working with that on her mind? She said she'd rather be doing something than knocking round the house. Oh, we don't want another E. coli. No, it won't come to that. Clary and I are keeping an eye on her. And she's off to the hospital soon. The post office is still covered. Oh, poor woman. Oh, good. You're both here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, good. Oh. Jazza does know the cows are still in, doesn't he? He's in even more of a hurry than usual. Uh, he and Ed have found a buyer for this Fergie. What Fergie? Oh, they've been doing one up. Oh, I didn't know. And the guy's collecting it about now. So Jazza wanted to get over to Grange Farm, get his hands on the loot. <laughs> right. So, um... Uh, yeah. Have you got ten minutes? What for? Oh, I'd like us to have a chat. I've been talking to Brenda, and... Well, maybe I've given you the impression that I don't value what you've done for the farm. What well, we've done for it? We've made it what it is. Yeah, I, I know. And if it seems like I haven't been taking your opinions seriously, that's really not what I intended. So I'd like to have a talk with you about my thoughts for the business. Is this the veg boxes again? No, not really. More the way forward on the ready meals. All right, but we don't want a row, Tom. Neither do I. Have you got a few minutes, Tony? Um, yes, yes. Might as well do it now. Oh, great, thanks. <clears throat> you already know how we feel, though. Although Tom Arch is a separate brand, it's all part of the family with Ambridge Organics. Yeah. What does it say to the consumer if your ready meals just abandon their organic status? 
it'll damage the main brand by association. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about buying meat from intensive producers or anything. It would be high welfare, outdoor reared. Yes, but with feed that's come through the chemical cycle. Pesticides, herbicides, antibiotics. Uh, I did look at organic breeders first, of course, but there simply isn't the capacity around here for the levels of supply that I would need. How big are you thinking? Well, potentially very big. You see, this is our other worry. Your contribution to the day-to-day -day work on this farm is essential, now more than ever. You know how concerned we are that this is going to distract you from the main business of the farm. Mum, I am absolutely committed to all the farm's activities. Oh, good. But don't you see, if the ready meals take off, as I hope... It could become the main business of the farm. Oh, now hold on a minute. That's exactly what we mean. OK, OK, I, I'm sorry. One of the main businesses of the farm. Bye. Uh, thank you. Safe job, mate. Yes. Oh, yes, a beauty. 3,800 quid in cash. Oh, I can't believe it. Right, so that's my 250 back, which gives us a profit of 38 less 200 is 36. 3,550 yes, quid! Results! <laughs> well, you might as well take your half then. Uh, no, I don't think so, Ed. Well, go on, it's yours. I know, but I know fine well what will happen if I walk off with a thick end of two grand. What? I wake up next week with a big smile on my face and no penny in my pocket. Nah, <laughs> you keep a hard it. You sure? Aye, let me be sensible for once in my life, eh? Okay then. You keep it safe and don't tell me where you put it. And it will still be there when we're ready to buy the pickup and the hearing gear. That's fine by me. I'll tell you something. What's that? I've still got my upfront money. We are going to have one hell of a time today. <laughs> At the moment, Branstas has me squashed into a narrow processing slot on their organic day. I'd have so much more flexibility if I could use their non-organic times, and it would be so much cheaper too. Oh, look, I don't think we're disputing that. Yes, it would be easier and cheaper. Yeah, but you're starting in the wrong place. The fact is, this is an organic farm. We are organic producers. Yeah, so all our products should be organic. Right. OK, I can see how you feel. How about I defer a decision for a while and I'll do a bit more research? Uh, you might find a purely organic manufacturer who could give you a greater flexibility on your production. Perhaps. I can certainly go to a couple of my outlets and get a feel for the top price they'd pay for a gourmet ready meal. An organic ready meal? Mm. Yeah, well, I'm not sure they'd see much difference. But... I'll talk to them and see how that squares with my costs if I stayed organic. Yeah, and I'm sure you could find farmers who were willing to supply you. Well, his transport costs, though, if they're not reasonably local... Still, I'll have a look at it. Well, I'm glad we've had this chat. Yes, me too. Oh, you'll find a way forward, Tom. Hmm. OK, then. Uh, well, I'd better get on with the littering down. Um, have you scraped the yard yet? No. Well, I'll do that, then. Thanks. So, uh, Jazza reckons they're going to make a bob or two on this tractor, does he? Quite a bit, he thinks. <laughs> Ed could certainly do with the money. In fact, he was very insistent that I join them for a drink this evening. Oh, yeah? And here's a phrase you don't hear very often. Jazza's buying. <laughs> There you go. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. Happy days, eh? <laughs> Here's to Mr. Ferguson. And mm. Mrs. James. Aye, I don't know. Jazz. Mm. That's my name. <laughs> I've been thinking about yes, Mrs. Will. James. Uh, yeah, what about her? <laughs> you know, we, we were only looking for two grand to cover the pickup <laughs> and, and equipment. And Oh, no. No, 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 and no, no. And we've no, made no. far more than that. Well done, us. That's the free market for you. I, I really feel that we should give her a bit more cash. Oh, don't be soft. That tractor was clogging up her garage. She wanted shot. 
And we took it away for a free of charge, mind. And gave her 250 into the bargain. Yeah, but... She seemed really chuffed with it and all. I don't know, it just, it just seems... Hey, Daryl, how you doing, pal? Oh, how are you guys? What are you drinking? Oh, no, it's all right, mate. I'm, I'm getting around in. Who are they boys your way? Oh, we all work together at Fawcett Magna, on that church. Oh, aye. Oh, lovely job that was. We sort of lost touch after it finished, so Ilona said I should arrange a meet-up. What, Ilona did? Yeah. So you got, and got leathered with your mates? <laughs> oh, not leathered exactly, just a few beers, you know. Oh, you've got a real diamond there, Daryl, is anyway. Yeah, she's oh. a keeper, all right. <laughs> ah, she's quite a looker, I know. <laughs> Thanks. She's got that dark, stormy thing going on. She's a bit of Yeah, go on. OK, ah. Jazz, we've got the message. Hey, here he is. <laughs> all right, Daryl. Des, what are you doing here? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? How about good evening, Des? Great to see you. Uh, yeah, uh, hello. <laughs> So, you're going to introduce me? Oh, yeah, um, th- this is Ed. Are you right, mate? And, and Jazza. Are you right? This is um, Des. We, uh, we, um... We both stayed at the same holiday camp, didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, a few years back. Lost touch, then a couple of weeks ago, Daryl wandered onto a job I was doing. A, a building job. Oh, so you met up again, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, see, there's Tom arrived. Hey, Tom! James, he doesn't look too happy. Uh, yeah, look, that's our mate. Would you mind if... Um... Oh, feel free, pal. All right, Tom, how you doing, mate? What are you drinking, Daryl? Oh, no, it's all right, mate. I'm in the chair. Oh, lovely. Pint of lager for me, then. Oh, right, yeah. Have, um, not seen you in here before? Nah. Stewie Toolump said you was having a bit of a reunion. Stewie? Yeah, he's working on my site now. Thought I'd pop along, say hello. Oh. How are you doing, then? You working? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am, actually, um... Not chippy in, just a decorating job. But it's local, in the village. Oh, handy. What sort of place? One of the big farms. Biggest round here, I think. Paper in the cow shed, are you? <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, mainly the dining room. Plus Brian's study. Brian, is it? Yeah, Brian Aldridge. But it's his missus I mostly deal with. Aldridge. Minted, are they? <laughs> well, they ain't afraid to spend a bit of money. It's a nice little learner. Ah, oh, that's great, Daryl. Made up for you, really, yeah. Oh, you don't want to hear about it. It's just farm stuff. I had a meeting with Mum and Dad that didn't go as hoped. That was all. I thought I could make them see a bit of sense. No, no. You're right, Tom. What? No, we don't want to hear about it. (laughs) Oh, no. Okay, fair enough. What can I get you? You really are buying, then? Why would you say it like that? No reason. Pints of shires for me. Uh, We'll get some... Shots and all, shall we? Whoa, you are celebrating. Ah, as soon as Julian's finished serving you on Daryl. Thanks. Have you heard how Chris is? Uh, no change since yesterday, Emma said. Poor bloke. Mm. How he managed to be so careless. And on horses, eh? Dangerous animals. Not at pigs. Oh, no, it wasn't just that. I mean, Shula told him it was volatile. He should have had it sedated first. Yeah, well, it's obvious, isn't it? What? Well, you remember how he was the night before? Just about the hangover from hell. Oh, yeah. And it was the end of the day, wasn't it, when it happened? <laughs> I reckon he was feeling lousy, dead tired and... Just wanted to go to his bed, eh? Yeah. Still miserable because of Alice and her interview. Thought he could handle the horse. He took a shortcut and... Boof. <sighs> so that's a big place, this... What's it called? Home farm. Yeah, it's massive. Lots of land. I suppose, yeah. Outbuildings, barns, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, plenty. They must have bits they don't see from one month to the next, no? Eh? I wouldn't know, probably. How the other half live, eh, Daryl? <sighs> yeah. Still, you're doing all right out of it, ain't you? Hmm. Not for much longer. No? Huh? What was that? Well, the job will finish next week. I'll be looking for work again. Where are you now? Where are you really? Well, no promises, but I might just have something for you. Might you? Yeah. I've got your number. I'll give you a bell. Oh. Hey, so you managed to drag yourself out from the bed? Oh, just about. Huh. Anna has finished all the cereal, but there is bread. You can have a bacon sandwich. Oh, 
No, that's all right, Lona, thanks. You should eat something. You can't go to work on an empty stomach. No, I'm late already. Did the alarm go off? Yes. Hmm. But after the night you had? Oh, I'll get a cuppa at home farm. Jennifer usually gives me a bit of cake or something anyway. OK, Daryl, if you want. All right, I'll see you later, love, eh? Bye. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I'm sure it must have been very inconvenient. I I'm sorry you've had an uncomfortable night, but, you know, boilers do break down from time to time. Mm. Well, as I said, I'll get someone out to look at it as soon as possible. Morning. Yeah, goodbye then. God, let me take my coat off. Uh, Brenda, I need you to do the book out on Cross Cottage this morning with Mr and Mrs Hastings. I thought you were down for that one. Mm, yeah, I was, but something's come up. I, um, I have to go to Felpersham. What for? I've got an important meeting. Look, it, it's ten o'clock in Loxton, all right? But I've got masses to do today, Lillian. Such as? Well, for a start, it's the ad deadline for the Borchester Echo, and I've got several to finalise and send over, including Cross Cottage. Only be back by lunchtime. And that's after I've sorted out a heating engineer. I'm sure you'll manage, darling. Now, look, I've got to go. And is it Matt out this morning as well? Uh, yeah, you might be. So who's going to cover the phones? Well, just put your mobile number on the answer machine. No, I'll be doing this book out. I can't be taking calls every two minutes. Why don't you put your number on the answer phone? Just do it, please. Thank you. Six of them. <laughs> They're the girl's favourites. Oh, no. They're for Mrs Caldicott, a lady who I look after at the Laurels. Uh. Many of our residents, they have their favourite sweets. If they have relatives who visit, then they bring them, of course. Peggy brings humbugs for Jack. Oh, yes, he likes his humbugs. Hmm. But some are not so lucky. They have no one. So I buy them and they give me the money. They keep them in the little cupboard by their bed. Hmm. Then, when they run out, I buy more. That's very nice of you. It's no problem. Ilona, mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's mentioned this to you, but are you familiar with the WI, the Women's Institute? Uh, yes, I've heard of it, of course. We meet once a month in the village hall. You'd be very welcome to join us, you know. Uh, I'm not sure that is my sort of thing. Oh, please don't think that it's all old fogies like me. <laughs> no. We have lots of younger members. Do you know Nick Grundy? Uh, she works in the pub sometimes. Yes. Yeah. She's a member, and she's even younger than you. <laughs> it's not a question of age. There's a serious campaigning side, and it's a good way to meet other people. Hmm. And the talks that we have can be very entertaining as well as informative. Uh, perhaps I'll talk to Nick about it. Yes, do. In fact, you've just reminded me... One of our speakers has cancelled. Oh, yes? It was going to be on the history of the British postage stamp. Hmm. I need to find a replacement. Well, I hope you find someone. Yes, I'm sure I will. But with my family and my work, I think I'm probably too busy to come. So she just swans in, dressed up to the nines, and dumps it on me. Oh, well, that's not on, is it? And you know what it's like when you've got your day planned out and then something blows it all out of the water? It's very frustrating. Do you know Loxton? Not really, Brenda, no. It's a tiny place on the other side of Felpersham. The chance of me getting a coffee there are about nil, I reckon. So I thought the least I could do is get some chocolate to eat on the way. Well, it's a shame the bull doesn't do takeaway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, Bethany. I couldn't agree more. She doesn't mind, does she? You haven't got a horrible boss who hates you, have you? Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Well, there's a lot of history between me and Lillian. You don't know the half of it, Vicky. But I can't be angry when I see you, can I? <laughs> she loves going out. It's so nice when the weather's good enough. And we go all over the village, don't we? Although I hope you're going to have a sleep later so I can get on the computer. And booking a luxury cruise? Oh, I wish. No, <laughs> no. I promise Mike I'll do a bit of research into Guernsey milk, the health benefits and that, you know. Oh, is this for his big marketing campaign? That's right. Oh, hello, Alona. Good morning. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry I can't stop. I have to be at work. OK, no problem. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah, I'd better get on too. Mustn't be late for the Battle of Hastings.
Right, so 87 by 104. That should do it. Right, 87 by 104. Oh, blimey. Hello? Daryl? Yeah. It's Des, mate. Oh. Hi, Des. How you doing? Can you talk? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm working, uh, but there's no one around at the moment. Is that at, uh, Home Farm? Yeah. Good night last night, wasn't it, eh? Yeah, I, um, I drank a bit more than I planned, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Daryl, remember last night I said I might be able to put something your way? Did you? I've got a proposition for you. Could be a decent earner. Right. What it is, me and some mates, we got these... Well, let's call them sporting evenings going on. A few like-minded people get together, a bit of betting, a couple of laughs. It's all good. You still there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm listening. OK. Thing is, we need a new location. We've had to move on from our last one. A bit of bother with... Well, I won't bore you with the details. Sounds to me like one of these barns at home farm would be ideal. You know, one of the quiet ones away from the farmhouse. So, um, so, so do you want Brian's number? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't want to bother the big boss. This would be just between us. Right. All we'd want is for you to guide us in, unlock any gates that need unlocking. There'd be a drink in it for you, and everyone's happy. Well, these, um, sporting evenings, what sort of thing are they exactly? Don't you worry about that. You leave that to me. Just want to know if you're in or out. OK. I can't hang about, mate. Need to know by the end of the week. Well, all right. Well, I'll, I'll have to have a think about it and, and I'll let you know, all right? Sound. 40 of my usual, please, Jill. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Off out somewhere? Uh, been out, actually. Just uh, meetings, you know. On my way back to the office now. Busy morning, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim's had a busy morning too. He had to swap his day with me. Oh, yeah. He was doing his penultimate interview for Borsetshire Life. Popped in here afterwards to thank me. Mm -hmm. Oh, afternoon, Vicky. You all right with the pram? Yeah, no problem, thanks. Anything else, Lillian? Uh, no, just the ciggies. That's 1568, please. Right. Jim was talking to Rowena Hickey. Mm -hmm. Can't say I've heard of her. Take it out of that, Jim. Thank you. The artist. <sighs> no, sorry. <laughs> Don't know much about art, but I know I prefer a good film. She did the <laughs> mosaic at Loxley Barrett School. Ah. Was Jim pleased? He seemed to be. Though I got the impression he's quite relieved these interviews are coming to an end. Yeah, they've been a bit of an uphill struggle, haven't they? Chris thinks he should round off with someone weighty. Oh, yeah. Fat Paul. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Not quite Borsuch your life material, I think. <laughs> no. no, she meant... <laughs> You know, someone more like a business leader. Someone with influence in the community. He's not thinking of Matt, is he? Well... I, mean, I can't see him wanting to share his favourite sock colour with Jim Law. There's more to the interviews than that. Anyway, you must excuse me, Jill. Need to get back to the office. Bye, then. Bye. Oh, just these, please. Mm. As if anyone would want to read about Matt Crawford. I'm sure Jim will make his own choice anyway. Oh, we're about to do the Easter flowers for the church. And I remembered last year you said you were interested, Vicky. And I imagine you've got your work cut out with Bethany now. Oh, Bethany's fine. <laughs> it's other people I've got my work cut out with. I'm sorry. Oh. No. No, I, I shouldn't bother you with it, Jill. No, go on. Pat Fletcher. What about her? Just now outside. She was so sympathetic. I see. You're being so brave. Derek and I do feel for you. Oh. But she was talking like having Bethany was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But it's the best. People don't understand, do they? I mean, she's a precious gift, a blessing. Why can't people see that? Did the book out go OK, Brenda? No, it was horrible. Oh? She didn't turn up till quarter to eleven and she queried absolutely everything. <sighs> well, she always was a difficult woman. There was blatant damage, but she wouldn't have it. Kept claiming it was fair wear and tear. What sort of damage? Oh, 
stain on the landing carpet between the kids' bedroom and the bathroom. Ooh. I don't want to think what happened there. Well, the cleaners are in tomorrow. Black scuffs on the living room wall. Looked like a bike or something had been run along it. Mm, right. Oh. And the light fitting's been damaged. And it'll come out of their deposit. I expect it's all in your report. Yeah, it is. But they're disputing it, Lillian. What? So now we'll have to put a case together for the deposit scheme people. You shouldn't have let it come to this. That woman takes careful handling. Well, maybe you should have done the book out as originally planned. I told you. Especially as you'd done the inventory when they moved in. Something came up. Well, now I've got even more work on my plate. Yeah, well, that's what we pay you for, Brenda. Just remember, I'm the boss here and I decide who does what in this office. All right. Ah, there you are. Fancy a cuppa? No, thank you. I think I will. Uh, Any biscuits left? You don't want to spoil your tea. I won't. I'm starving. I just need Mm. to take the edge off a bit. You sure you don't want one? Love? Hello, news. Something wrong? Yes, something is wrong. Today Mrs Dawson called me into her office. She has bad news. There are pressures, money's tight, they are making economy drives. She, she didn't sack you? No, but they will be reducing my hours. How much by? Probably one shift less every week. Oh no. How will we manage, Darren? God. I'm so worried. How much longer will this job last at home farm? I don't know, not much. Yeah. I'll probably have finished it by next week. Is there a chance of any more work there? I don't think so. I mean, I can ask, but they use their own workers for the outside stuff and yeah. I can't see much else wants doing in the farmhouse. That's a shame. I'll just have to put the feelers out again, love. What about your mates? What mates? The ones in the pub last night. They are all tradesmen, no? Oh, yeah. Surely they'd know if there was any work you could do. Well, maybe. Uh... You must try, Daryl, or I don't know how we'll survive. So, who's going to look after Kira? Well, Tracy said she'd have her for the morning. Oh, fair play. Yeah, we're going to drop her off on the way. We? Oui? Helen said she'd give me a lift to the hospital. Oh, yeah? She wants to see Chris, too. Oh, that's nice of her. Oh, I expect that'll be her now. Hi. Hello. Come in. Oh, thanks. We were just talking about you. Oh, that's always worrying. Hi, Ed. Yeah, morning, Helen. Have you heard any more about how Chris is? Oh, we'll find out when we get there, but uh, he was still the same yesterday. Uh, no change. Yeah, but that means he ain't getting any worse, then. Yeah. Well, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Good positive attitude. Oh, um, Alice won't be there this morning. Alice? She'd been by his bedside for so long, she was exhausted, poor thing. Jennifer insisted she'd come home and get a decent sleep. Yeah, it it won't help making herself ill. (sighs) I'm worried that's going to happen to Mum. Dad makes her go to bed, but she ain't hardly sleeping at all. I could say the same about you, love. I'm doing better than Mum. Right, well, I'd best get going. Back to Grange Farm? Um, Actually, no, not this morning. Oh, you've got a meeting with Mike, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, before that I've got a nip over to Penny House it. Uh, it's just a, the final bit of business about the Fergie. Oh, OK. Yeah, I'll see you then. Yeah. Mm. Bye. Yeah, bye, Helen. Take care. Yeah, and you? Right, are you, uh, are you OK to get straight off? Fine by me. I'll just get Kira's coat. Uh, Emma, have you heard any talk in the village? How do you mean? Alice was very upset yesterday... People have been saying things about Chris's accident. I'm sorry I'm a bit late, Mike. Well, it's only ten minutes. I had an errand to run. It took a bit longer than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Always away. Uh, well, that's no bother. I left Rosa doing the bottling, so I've had an easy morning. Easy? With a baby in the house? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. comparatively easy. Any road. Uh, look, sit yourself down, Ed. Oh, t- uh, not that Rosa was exactly a bright spark this morning. Oh, yeah? No, nah, Mum's just had her hours cut. Oh, no. So she was glad to get out of the house. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Atmosphere like a mortuary, she said. Anyway, look, uh, can I get you a coffee or something? Uh, no, no, you're all right. I just had one at... Um... N- no, I'm fine. I'm oh, fine. right, OK. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's get on with this leaflet then, shall we? Chris... 
Hey. Samar. Hello. Oh, you've been in the wars a bit, Chris. You had an accident. You worried us for a while, you know. But they're looking after you really well here. You're gonna get better soon. And then you're gonna come home, and we're all gonna look after you. That's it. That's what we want. We love you, Chris. I love you. So we're going to need enough for all the houses on the roads where we deliver now. Well, all the villages, really. Mm? I mean, if you're already going there, it doesn't have to be on the same road, does it? <sighs> well, no. A few hundred extra ain't going to cost that much, and you might get a lot more customers. Well, you know what I think, Ed? I'd be happy if we hold on to the ones we've got. Oh, it's only a penny a pint. I mean, even if they have two or three pints a day, that's not going to be much extra a week. Chicken feed, really. You can get it for a lot less at the supermarket, though. <sighs> but it's a different product. That's what we need to tell them. Give them a reason for sticking with you. Or for taking you on. Lots of them know that anyway. Oh, yeah, we know. Right, so where are we so far? Um, where are we? Um, yeah, Herd of Pedigree Guernseys, local farm. Local family farm. Oh, yeah. <coughs> That's good. Family farm. Bottled daily by Mike the Milkman. Hey, oh, do we want to say that? Mike the Milkman? <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. It's friendly, isn't it? It's a bit like Bob the Builder. Uh, all right, <laughs> then. Yes, we can. <laughs> so what else? <sighs> low, low food miles. Mm, good. And that you don't just do milk, you do all the other stuff as well. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be saving them petrol, especially in the places that don't have a village shop anymore. No oh, which is most of them. I mean, they'd have to drive to Hollerton, maybe. Yeah, or Borchester. So you're sort of like a travelling village shop, aren't you? The shop that comes to you. Well, eh? That's good, Ed. Mm. No, no, that's it. Uh, shop comes to you. Mm. And then there's the milk itself. It's fantastic taste. Uh, and all the nutritional benefits. Oh, here, uh, <coughs> Vicky's um, printed out some stuff about that. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, I've had some good news about the pictures. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Ellen, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Come on. Have you got a tissue? Oh, um, I... I brought some. Um, here. Thanks. He squeezed my hand. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? And he knew who I was when he opened his eyes. For the first time, I I could really believe that he might not... That he might make a full recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, a full recovery. Yeah. Are you OK now? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be silly. But if you are OK... We've got some phone calls to make. Yeah, I'll ring Mum and Dad. And I'll ring Alice. There, here it is. Hmm. They've uh, given you permission to use it, have they? Uh, well, for a fee, yeah. Uh, now, um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the one Vicky thought with me standing by the van. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh, and then we can put, you know, like a flash on the corner of the leaflet... As featured in Borsetshire Life, something like that. Yeah, no, that'd be great, Mike. Pretty glad you said yes to Jim Lloyd now, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose so. Uh, I'm still uh, not sure about that jumper, though. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I think he's pleased anyway. But, uh What? Well, what about Buttercup? The mascot? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll still use her. I mean, she should be on the front. I reckon that photo can go on the back. Yes, well, pictures on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. You know that Rob bloke from the Mega Dairy? Rob Titchener? Yeah. You know what he said when he tasted the milk? No. He said it were like nostalgia in a bottle. <laughs> nostalgia in a bottle? Hmm. That's really good, eh? <laughs> I mean, would he mind us using that? Well, well you could ask him, I suppose. Because oh, it'd make a great headline. There you go. 
Oh, thanks, Hen. Right, decide what you want. Uh, I'll have the steak pie. Peas or beans? Peas? they green things, no fear. Right, beans it is then. Mm. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, we thought we'd find you here, Jazza. It's all of the deduction of the century. I'm in here every dinner time. Uh, hi, Nick. All right. Yeah, we've got something to show you. Go on then, Sherlock. Hey, come on, take a look at that. Ah, this is the leaflet, is it? Yep, ready for the printers. Can I get you some drinks? Oh, a uh, pint of sure for me, uh, Ed. Uh, usual, please. OK. Oh, that looks bra. What's the space here for? Uh, no, it's going to be a picture of me from Borsetshire Life. Oh, you're missing a trick there, are you know, Mike? Oh. Oh, it should be a picture of Jay McCreary, housewife's choice. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on, mate. You're lost. So, we'll be delivering these then? Yeah, as soon as they're ready. Looking forward to Friday, Ed. Present everybody. Oh, are you coming too? Coming where? Eddie's birthday dinner. Uh, no, no, I just meant it's Friday, innit? Everybody looks forward to it. <laughs> birthday dinner? Where's that then? Well, we did think about coming here, but it's Red Nose Day, isn't it? Mm, it's probably going to be busy. So, so it's just going to be at Mum and Dad's. Yeah, I'm going to help Clary with the cooking. Right, anything else? Um, oh, you're all right there, aren't you, Jezza? Mm, she won't last long. I give up, you barely started it. Now that's all for now, Dad, isn't it? Thanks. This uh, shindig is well going to be there. Yeah, but it'll be it'll be fine. You reckon? It's been a bit less narky recently, and you know I'm, I'm a bit happier now. I'm getting this stuff sorted out. That's three seventy mm. change. Oh, sorry. Oh, hang on. There's uh, there's Jim. <laughs> I must tell him about using this photo. He'll be dead shocked. Right, I'll take your food order to Frida. Uh, thanks, Hen. Hmm. So, you had a busy morning then. Well, yeah, yeah, and uh, well, I had to do something first and all. All right. I went to see Mrs. James. Mm. Well, I wanted to tell her that we'd sold the Fergie. Why would you do that? Well, because when we bought it, we said it was just for me. And I told her that someone came along who wanted it even more. And they offered me more money. Ed. So I gave her 500 quid. No. She was very touched. I'm not surprised. And I'll tell you who's touched. You're touched. It's only fair, Jazz. We're supposed to be partners, you and me. Should you not at least have asked me first? I did, the other night. Aye, and I told you it was a mental idea. Look, you bought the tractor without my say-so. Aye, and it paid half, big time. So the way that I look at it, we're quits. And, uh, what do you think Emma's going to say when she hears you throwing away good spending cash? We still raised the money we wanted. There's no need for Emma to know. I don't believe in secrets and relationships, Ed. I feel it's my loyal duty to tell her. Hi, Emma. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Hello. What? Emma? What are you doing here? She's had an emotional morning and I thought a nice lunch was in order. Emma, we were just talking about... Chris. Yeah. No, we weren't, me. Yeah, I think we were, Jazz. Uh, just have to offer the pay for your dinner and another pint. Oh, I, I mean, no. So, how is the boy? It's good news. It was amazing. They've taken the tube out and he's a bit more conscious. Was this Chris? Yeah, yeah, we've just come from the hospital. It's ironic, really. Why? That I was there and not Alice. She's already moved from his bedside since she came back. Did he speak to you? No, not exactly, but... We had an oxygen mask on, but he definitely knew I was there. Oh, well, that's brilliant. They said he'll have to wear the mask for a few days, but it's a real improvement. Oh, you must be so happy. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, 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 well, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I... Helen's already had to mop me up once today. <laughs> Oh, it's just the relief, you know. It's understandable. Oh, you, you went together, did you? Yeah, Helen took me. I see ya. I didn't realise you were such good friends. Mm. She's been wonderful. And Alice was so chuffed when Helen spoke to her. Well, she needed some good news, didn't she? Aye. No, not just because of, you know, the obvious. She's been hearing rumours. What about? People are saying the accident was... Uh, her fault. You're kidding. Because of the state Chris was in when she left for Canada. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's shocking the way people talk. And as you can imagine, she's really upset about it. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Finish the top dressing then. Oh, I wish. I was halfway through Skipperly when I realised the time. Oh. I had to abandon it, Ruth. Oh, that's a shame. We need to see to the young stock. Well, they won't wait. Thank God Adam's got the arable work in hand and I don't have to worry about that, too. Maybe Pip could finish off for you. Oh, that'd be handy. 
Hi, Pip. Afternoon. This is good timing. Could you finish off some top dressing for your dad? But now... Or do the young stock, don't mind which. I haven't got time. Pip. I've got work to do, uni work. Just an hour would help. I've only come back to finish my assignments. Oh. They're due in tomorrow. It's the last day of term. And how long have you known about them? What's that got to do with anything? Well, maybe if you didn't leave things till the last minute, you might have more time to help out here a bit I more. I didn't know you were going to ask me to fill in for you at no notice. I'm just asking you to lend a hand occasionally. Your dad's right, Pip. You shouldn't leave things up to the wire. It's my business how I plan my time. As long as I get it done by the deadline, what's the problem? Oh... Oh, you're early. Oh, I just couldn't stand it any longer. If I have to put up with much more of Lillian, I swear I'm going to do something violent. Mm. Do you want a cup of tea, Brian? Oh, I think I need something much stronger. Oh, OK. Anyway, you're home pretty early yourself. I called in to see Chris. You went to the hospital? Well, I'd been delivering at Mercer's, as I was in Felpisham already. How is he? He's really on the mend. Oh. I mean... He's very weak, and he's still hooked up to all the machines, but we had a conversation. Did you? Of sorts. A few words, you know. Still, that's a big step forward. Yeah. I must try to get over and see myself. I'm sure he'd like people calling in now, as long as they don't stay too long. Maybe at the weekend, then. We could go together. Yeah, if you like. While I was at Mercer's, I asked Walt about ready meals. You know, how much he'd be prepared to pay for a gourmet meal, organic or not. And he reckoned Ugh. that... Where are you going? I need a bath. Oh. OK. OK, lower it. Stop. OK. Hey, neatly done, Josh. I said I could do it. <laughs> Just don't tell your mother I let you. <laughs> no worries, Dad. <laughs> All right, bring your fork out. Yeah, I got it. OK, give it here, then. There you go. Thanks. Where's the other one? Um, it's, it's by the fence. Oh, yeah. How are we doing for time? Oh, I'll have to stop after this. OK. Dad. All right. This drink is empty. Oh, no, it isn't, is it? It's completely dry. <sighs> Let's have a look. Oh, no wonder they were noisy. I just thought they were hungry. What do you think it is? Oh, uh, it's probably the float valve. Hang on. What are you doing? Time for a bit of percussive maintenance. What? what? Stand back. What's percussive maintenance? This. <laughs> oh. Bashing it with a fork, right. There you go. Ah, it's amazing how often that works. And even if it doesn't, it's very satisfying. I remember that. Yeah. Farming Repairs 101, that is. So when we finished here, can you run me back to the house? Yeah, sure. I need to get off to the hens. No problem. And I've got some geography homework I need to do later. Sorry. No, 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 it's fine, Josh. I'm very grateful for the help. Yeah? It's only me. Hello. I've got some dinner on the go. Oh, good. Just a chilli. Is that OK? Yeah, fine. Thanks. Then, after we've eaten, if you feel like a drink, do you fancy going out? Um, yeah, maybe. Where are you thinking? Well, I thought we could just pop over to the bull. No, I don't think so. Wouldn't need the car, then. No, not the bull. I don't want to go anywhere there's a chance of bumping into Matt or Lillian. Definitely not Lillian. Ah, well, that rules out Grey Gables as well, then. It's a bit stuffy there anyway. Yeah. Uh, Borchester? The dog and trumpet should have a band on. Yeah, and we probably won't be able to sit down or hear ourselves speak. Um, how about Jack's? Yeah, OK. Fine by me. On one condition. What's that? You're driving. Hmm. 
Is there anything on the telly? What's the point? What do you mean? Well, you know, given five minutes, we'll both be asleep in front of it. Oh, yeah, you're probably right, love. I saw your mum in the shop. Oh, yeah? She solved her speaker problem. What, with her stereo? <laughs> For the WI. Oh, I see. <laughs> Didn't know she had a problem. Nor did I, actually. But I didn't let on. Well, I'm very pleased for her. And the WI. <sighs> David? I wasn't asleep. No, I, I just wondered if you'd heard from Elizabeth recently. Oh, I have, actually. You know, um... The trustees were happy with the sale of those two plots of land. Yeah. Elizabeth's put in for planning permission. Well, I suppose she'll get a much better price if she's got it. Yep, that's what she thinks. Man? Yeah, Josh? Have we got any wrapping paper? Is this for Ben's present? Yeah. He's not about, is he? No, he's upstairs on the computer. I notice you don't ask your dad. Excuse me, I know how to find wrapping paper in this house. Mm. On, then. Ruth, have we got any wrapping paper? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you know the cupboard in the kitchen with all the odds and ends? Um, Next to the fridge with the wonky hinge. Oh, yeah. Well, there should be some in there. Hi! Was that Pip? Yeah. Where is she going? Seeing a band, she said. Oh. What about these precious assignments of hers? Oh, she must have finished them, I suppose. Oh, well, if they were only going to take this long, she could have helped me earlier and not gone out now. Anyway, Josh, you should find the gift wrap in there, OK? OK. And oh. there should be some sellotape, too. Cool. <sighs> it is about time that girl got her act together. I know. That must be the fourth thing this week I've asked her to do and been knocked back. Could she check the Herefords? No. Could she straw down? Oh, she's late for a lecture. Could she do the mixer wagon? Too busy. She's the same with me. <sighs> we had a deal. When she went to uni, she could live here rent-free as long as she helped on the farm. I'm not the one you should be telling. No, I know, but... <sighs> You're the only one that's here. Look, I know it's annoying, but she's on holiday from next week. She'll be able to help out more then. I'm so looking forward to the Easter break. When does it start? Next week? Yeah. At last I'll be able to have some time to myself. And with Spencer, of course. Hi, Pip. Hello. I thought that was your car. Yeah, I'm eating Spencer. At Jack's, by any chance? No, we're going to the Dog and Trumpet. There's a band on. I was right, Bren. You do have to pay, even after 6pm. Yeah, they changed it a couple of weeks ago. And they've put the charges up. Hmm. So, having paid, I'd better display. Yeah, OK. In fact, I was wondering if we might even go away somewhere for a couple of days. You and Spencer? I could do with a real break from everything. <sighs> You're not the only one. I've been trying to tell my mum and dad. The pressure is just immense. I've been working all hours. Uh-huh. In fact, I've got two assignments I've got to finish off tomorrow. Well, if you do plan to take any time off, you will give me plenty of notice, won't you? Yeah, of course, Tom. I don't want a repeat of last time. No, you don't need to worry. Oh, look, there's Spencer. Hi! I'll see you later. We'll bring the nachos over to you when they're ready. Well, hello. Evening. Hi, Kirsty. Cambridge's most glamorous couple. Huh. What can I get you? Um... A jug of cocktail. The strongest one you do. Uh, wait a minute, Bren. I'm driving, remember? That's all right. Yeah, well, I can't drink. Well, I'll drink it. A whole jug to yourself? Yeah, it's been a hell of a week. Don't you think I deserve a drink? No. Yes, of course. Oh, whatever you want. OK, Long Island iced tea it is. Oh, you've missed happy hour, I'm afraid. That's all right. Tom's buying. Uh, what will you have, Tom? Oh, um, I'll, yeah, I'll have a glass of that and then I'll probably have water or something. OK, two glasses then. Oh, there's Giselle, look. Who? From Radio Borsetshire. Haven't seen her for ages. Will you bring the drink over when it's ready? 
I didn't think she liked Giselle. Seems keen to see her now. What's going on, Tom? What do you mean? Well, you two. Not exactly love's young dream, are you? You had a row or something? Oh, things are a bit tricky at the moment with Mum and Dad. We've got different ideas about the future of the ready meals, and I think we've got to go non-organic, but they're digging their heels in. And Brenda seems to be siding with them. Oh, uh, Tom, for God's sake. What? Do you ever stop and listen to yourself? Not everything's about the business, you know. This is? It's... Does every sentence have to have sausages in it? Or ready meals? And no wonder she gets fed up with you. Kirsty! Oh, don't get me wrong. I hope your business is successful. Of course I do. Tom, people do laugh at you a bit behind your back. No, they don't. Oh, they do. I've done it myself, Mr. One-Track Mind. I don't have a one-track mind. Oh, really? I've got lots of things going on in my life. Other than work? What exactly? Well, look, the point is, I'm doing this for our future. One day we'll have our own house and kids. Well, the future's all very well. But what about now? You've got one unhappy girlfriend there. Yeah, OK, but well, a lot of that's about her own work. Is it? And what's the problem? I, I think she's finding Lillian a bit difficult. Oh, she's always found Lillian difficult. What's changed? Well, it's... she... Don't you know? I'm not clear on the exact details. Right. Think on, Tom. They said they're going to move me onto a ward later today. Oh, Chris, that's wonderful. Be pleased to get out of here. Everyone's so ill. Well, it is intensive care. <laughs> oh, it's great to talk to you properly at last. Mm, yeah. He's still just on liquids. Mm, they gave me some soft stuff this morning, like mashed up fruit. Puree? I guess. I didn't really feel like eating. That's not like you. No. But you must try. You need to build your strength up. <laughs> yeah, I am. I will. It was just <sighs> the first time. I understand. How do you feel in yourself? <laughs> My chest hurts like hell. Oh, you poor thing. If I try to move, especially, they're still giving me stuff for the pain. Well, I expect they will for a while. I'm really knackered. Well, that's only to be expected. <laughs> but it could be worse. Chris. There's something I need to say about the accident. I'm worried it, that it was my fault. How'd you work that out? You weren't even there. I know, I mean... Look, I know you weren't happy when I left. It must have been horrible for you. It was horrible for me. Your choice. Yeah, I know. I'm not trying to... I'm, what I mean is, you're bound to be a bit distracted. Maybe your mind wasn't on the job like it usually is. Alice. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I hated you going. <sighs> but <laughs> what happened with the horse, that was, that was down to me. I can't blame anyone else. Very generous of you. I could see she was lively, but I thought I could get away with it. I was an idiot. Oh, Chris. It was terrible that it happened, but I'm so relieved you don't blame me. I just want us to be able to pick things back up again. Don't you? Oh, I see someone's beaten me to it. Oh, Amy, hi. I just popped in to see how you're getting on, Chris. But I won't interrupt. OK. I'll come back later. 
but I'm on my break, Alice, so if you wanted to have a coffee after you've seen Chris... I'm... Oh, well, um, I'm not sure how long I'll be staying. It's probably best not to make it too long. Don't want to tire him out at this stage. No, no, OK. You could just text me when you're ready. Yes, all right. See you in the courtyard cafe, just by the main reception. Yes, yeah, I know. Get well soon then, Chris. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. You know, now you're on the mend, I can't wait for you to come home. Mm. I'm going to look after you really well. Okay. I love you so much. Chris? Sorry, Alice. I'm a bit tired. Oh. Maybe you should go and have that coffee. So, uh, this is the last room. Oh, oh no. Is there a problem? Well, Brian said he was going to move all these things and look at it. Oh, well. Ah, and he support us a land meeting now. Well, I can shift most of the stuff into the middle, cover it with a dust sheet. Are you sure? Can't start until I do. <laughs> is it all right if I move a few of these things out into the hallway? That, that filing cabinet, maybe, well, yeah? of course, Daryl. Would you like me to see if Andy or Jeff could give you a hand? Oh, no, there's no need for that. I'll, uh, I've got a sack truck in the van. Right, um, what about that key cabinet? What about it? Well, do you want it taken off the wall, or shall I just paint round it? Oh, well, I prefer you to do the whole wall, really. OK, um, all right, um, looks like it's fastened from the inside, uh, I... Need to get it open. Oh, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Brian keeps the key in. Yep, yeah, here we are. Look, now try that. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just four screws, that's no problem. Ah, oh, wonderful. Oh, well, I'm sorry that the room wasn't ready for you. That's all right, it, it won't take me long. And you're clear about the colour scheme? Uh, yep, yeah, it's uh, light grey on the walls. Lava. And dark grey on the woodwork. Yeah, well, graphite, yes, yes, that's right. A little austere for my tastes, but that's how Brian wants it. Oh, well, he's the boss. Uh, and you, obviously. <laughs> yes. Well, if you're happy then, Daryl, I'll um, leave you to it. Give me a shout if there's anything you need. I feel so guilty. That's a very natural reaction, Alice. Loved ones often feel that way. You know, why wasn't I there? Why wasn't it me? Yeah, no, it's not just that. People have been saying that Chris went on a real bender the night before the accident. Oh? You know, because he was so upset about me going to Canada. Someone jazz out to take him home and put him to bed. <sighs> but, I mean, it was the next day, though. I mean, you're not saying he was drunk when it happened. No. But I bet he was feeling pretty rough. Must have contributed. Oh, you can't know that. And it was awful. The way we left it at the airport. I didn't even kiss him goodbye, Amy. Mm. I know people think it's my fault. Does Chris? Well, no. He says not. Well, surely that's all that matters. Yeah, I suppose. But even though he doesn't blame me, he's so... Uh, it's... It's like there's a sheet of plastic between us. It's awful. Mm. Oh, Alice. I just want things to be back to the way they were. We've got such a wonderful relationship and now I'm scared it's been spoiled forever. Well, I, I understand how bad you must be feeling, but don't worry about the gossip. The only important thing is what Chris thinks and if he's already said that you're not to blame, well, that's what matters, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, you want everything to be back to normal, like magic. It's very early days. No, no, I know that. Of course I do. He needs time. He's had a serious trauma and all his energy now needs to be focused on getting better. You can't expect too much of him emotionally. No. You won't have a lot to give for a while. You need to be doing all the giving. Oh, I am. I want to do anything I can. So... Be patient, and as he gets better physically, then you can work on the relationship. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Oh my God. 
What? It's, um... Oh. I'm sorry, Amy. I'll have to take this. Okay. Cup of tea, Daryl. Oh, thanks. I'll put it down here. And some biscuits. Lemon and ginger. Oh, lovely. Still warm from the oven. Oh, that sounds great. Thanks. Ah, yes, you're... Getting on well now, huh? Yeah, making progress. Well, I'll uh, leave it... Jennifer? Yes? Uh, when this job's finished, um, will you be wanting any more decorating work doing? Well, I... Uh, or any work, really? N- not really, no. Well, what about cleaning, uh, home help stuff? But you're a skilled tradesman. No, it's it's not for me. I, I was thinking for Elona. She's had her shifts cut at the laurels, you see. We're a bit worried, to be honest. Yes, yes, Mum told me. Elena asked her, but Mum wasn't able to give her any extra hours. No. Afraid it's the same here. Patsy covers all I need in that department. Oh, oh sorry. No, 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 don't worry. Um, hello? Daryl, it's this. Um, it's, it's uh, not really convenient at the moment. Mum? It's OK, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. Need to know if you've come to a decision, mate. Uh, yeah. Um, look, Des, there's people about. So? Can I ring you back in a bit? They took the oxygen mask off him yesterday. Oh, excellent. Yeah, they're going to move him onto a ward. Out of ICU? Mm. Well, when? Well, today sometime. Oh, that is good. Yeah, that's what I said. And are you OK, darling? You don't <sighs> look very happy about it. Oh, no, I am, obviously. It's just... With all the stress, you know? Yes, of course. It's been very tiring. But he's really out of the woods now. It looks like it. <laughs> what a relief. Mm. <sighs> Darling, I hadn't liked to ask before, but now I've... Yes? <sighs> Your interview, you you haven't said how it went. Well, it went really well. In fact, that's my other news. Mm-hmm. While I was at the hospital, they rang... They offered me the job. Oh, oh! well, it's lovely that they wanted you. It's a real feather in your cap. And what did you say? Well, they knew Chris had had an accident, Mm-mm. so I brought them up to date. Yes. Explained the circumstances, and they completely understood. Well, yes, of course. I said there was no way I could give them an answer now. So you... Did... Yet they were really great about it. They've given me a month to decide. Oh, I see. Yeah. Des, it's Daryl. Yes, mate. Can you talk now? Yeah, I've come outside. I'm in the yard. So what's the verdict on my little proposition, then? You up for it? (sighs) Can I ask you a question? You could ask. Well, you said there'd be a drink in it for me. Oh, of course, yeah. How much? Well, it depends how often we run these evenings. But if it works out and it happens regular, could run into hundreds over time. (sighs) Right. We'd look after you, son, don't worry. It's not like we're asking for much, is it? Just a bit of a shifty round, work out what buildings aren't being used without a sight and sound. That's not too difficult, is it? No. The trickiest part be getting hold of the keys. Oh. You're on the spot, aren't you, at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, for a couple more days. So it sounds like it's now or never, doesn't it? Make your mind up time. Thank you.